So this is just a quick video to show you how you can organize your Google Doc to make it easier to use. So I tend to write a lot of Google Docs. In fact, I wrote this guide in a Google Doc and this is it here. And you can see it's really, really long. It's many, many, many pages. So trying to navigate and get around this can be really difficult if you don't have a table of contents. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that you're using headings. And so headings will actually create section breaks for your content. So just like with a website, you'll have a heading one, your subheadings will be heading two and heading three and heading four. So what you want to do is as you're working, you want to create those headings. And then I like to insert my table of contents at the very beginning of the document. This will help me navigate. So to do that, I'll go to insert table of contents, and then you can see, I can just click that and it will paste it in. So this is going to give me my entire document. And you can see, because I've organized them, the main section headings are the heading one subsections are heading two, and then anything underneath that would be heading three that instantly creates my table of contents and it will give me the page number. And best of all, I can actually click on any of these to go directly to that section. Now, the other thing you can do is on the left hand side here, you can show the document outline and this will also show those same headings. So again, you can click through to the different sections. So if you didn't know about this, I hope this was a helpful tip. Now, a couple other things you can do in your Google doc. Let's say you want to add a header and footer to do that. You can do insert headers and footers, put whatever you want. I'll often put like my logo name or something like that. And I'll usually not do it on the first page. So I'll put it on the second page and that's how we can do it. So that's my header. And then let's go ahead and also insert a footer. So next let's say I want to change the look of all of these headings. So I've already got them created, but maybe I want to update the font or the color or the size. So what I can do is I'm going to go ahead and select this. This is my heading one. I'm going to change the font to maybe something bold and maybe I'll change the color that way we can see the change. So now all I have to do is up here where it says heading one, I'll say update heading one to match. So now when I scroll down, you'll see that all of those heading ones now match quick ways to modify your Google doc.